Where do they go in rain or snow? Readers Theater, by Melissa Stewart, illustrated by Ioli Rosa. When rain falls. Chorus one. When rain falls in a forest. Narrator. A scurrying squirrel suddenly stops. Squirrel. Tss tss tss. I pull my tail over my head. It makes a great umbrella. Narrator, higher up, there's a hawk. Hawk, I puff out my feathers to stay warm and dry. Caree, caree. Narrator, what does a chickadee do? Chickadee, dee 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 dee. I hide inside my tree hole home. Close read. Identify elements of drama. Underline the words that tell the setting or where this part of the drama takes place. Narrator: A deer takes cover under a leafy tree canopy. Deer: All the leaves and branches block the rain. Narrator: Foxes nestle together inside a warm, cozy den. Fox one. I could use a nap. Fox two, me too. Oh. Big yawn. Close read. Den, a wild animal's home or resting place. Chorus two, when rain falls on a field. Narrator, a plump little caterpillar crawls under a leaf. Caterpillar, time for a snack. Munch, munch, munch. Narrator, an adult butterfly dangles from a nearby flower head. Butterfly, I don't mind hanging upside down. Narrator, a raindrop knocks a ladybug off a slippery stem. It bounces into the air and tumbles to the ground. Ladybug, don't worry about me. I have a hard exoskeleton. Close read. Slip. Narrator. A spider watches and waits as the rain beats down. Spider. Looks like I'll have to rebuild my web. Narrator. A little mouse crouches under a fallen leaf. Mouse. Squeak, squeak. I don't like the rain. Narrator. What about bees and ants? B, I hide in my hive and stay busy helping my friends make honey. Ant, I stay safe in my underground nest. There's always lots of work to do. Close read. Confirm or adjust predictions. Highlight the new characters in lines twenty through twenty-six. What other characters did you predict might appear? Confirm or correct your prediction. Chorus three: When rain falls on a wetland. Narrator: A turtle tucks in its tiny head and doesn't move an inch. Turtle. I listen to the raindrops crashing down on my shell. Everyone, plop, plop, drip, drop. Narrator, a dragonfly swoops past the turtle and lands on a cattail. Dragonfly, I rest below the cattail's fluffy brown top. Narrator. A whirly gig beetle swims in circles on the water's surface. Beetle, yikes! Those crashing raindrops make it hard to stay afloat. Narrator, where are the birds? Sparrow, clink clink! Here I am, hiding inside a thick bush. Duck, quack quack! Not me. I keep on swimming, rain or shine. Raindrops slide right off my oily feather. Chorus three: When rain falls on a wetland. Narrator: 
A turtle tucks in its tiny head and doesn't move an inch. Turtle. I listen to the raindrops crashing down on my shell. Everyone. Plop, plop, drip, drop. Narrator. A dragonfly swoops past the turtle and lands on a cattail. Dragonfly. I rest below the cattail's fluffy brown top. Narrator. A whirligig beetle swims in circles on the water's surface. Beetle. Yikes! Those crashing raindrops make it hard to stay afloat. Narrator. Where are the birds? Sparrow. Clink, clink. Here I am, hiding inside a thick bush. Duck. Quack, quack. Not me. I keep on swimming, rain or shine. Raindrops slide right off my oily feather. Close read. Identify elements of drama. Underline the dialogue between the narrator and the sparrow. Surface. The top or outside part of something. Chorus 4. When rain falls in a desert. Narrator. A rattlesnake squeezes into a rocky crevice. Snake. I curl up tight and fall asleep. Narrator. Where does a tarantula go? Tarantula. I crawl into a hole and hide. Narrator. Bats fly off to a hillside cave. Bat 1. Teet, 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 teet. Bat two, we just hang around until the rain stops. Narrator, a tiny elf owl peeks out of a hole in a cactus. Elf owl, da 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 da, I like to watch the rain fall. Narrator, a spadefoot toad only comes out in the rain. It digs to the surface, finds a mate and lays its eggs. Toad. Then I dig back into the sand. Wave. See you the next time it rains. Everyone. When the rain stops, animals living in fields and forests, wetlands and deserts return to their daily routines. All animals. Jump forward and make your animal sounds. The end. Close read. Confirm or adjust predictions. Identifying which character is speaking is part of knowing the structure of a play. Highlight the character names in lines 46 through 50. Confirm or correct your prediction. Under the Snow Chorus 1. Under the Snow in a Field Narrator Ladybugs pack themselves into a hole in an old stone wall. Ladybug 1. I like spending the winter with all my friends. It's like having a giant slumber party. Ladybug 2. Not me. I wish I had a little elbow room. Narrator. A snake rests inside another hole in the same wall. Snake. I curl up tight and fall asleep. Sleep. Narrator, what does a vole do under the snow? Vole, I tunnel through the white, fluffy stuff all winter long. Narrator, a chipmunk snoozes in an underground nest. Chipmunk, chip, chip, chirp, chirp. Sometimes I wake up to snack on nuts and seeds. Close read. Vocabulary in context. Sometimes you can figure out an unfamiliar word by finding words nearby that mean the opposite. Underline words that mean the opposite of snoozes. Underground. Beneath the ground. Continue to live. Chorus 2. Under the snow in a forest. 
Narrator. A morning cloak butterfly rests in a pile of brush. Butterfly. I'm saving up all my energy for spring. Narrator. What's inside that rotting log? Look, it's a centipede. Centipede. Winter weather cools my body so much I can barely move. Narrator. A bumblebee queen rests in a nearby crack. B. It's nice to take a break after such a busy summer. Narrator. A wood frog hides in leaves on the forest floor. Wood frog. Quack, squawk, quack. Winter doesn't bother me. I can freeze solid and still survive. Close read. Confirm or adjust predictions. Highlight the words that tell the setting of this part of the play. What prediction did you make about other settings that might appear in the rest of the drama? Narrator. A woolly bear caterpillar snoozes just a few inches away. Caterpillar. I curl up my body so my head almost touches my tail. Narrator. Just below the ground, a spotted salamander waits out the coldest months of the year. Salamander. If winter's here, can spring be far behind? Narrator. Deeper underground, a woodchuck sleeps soundly all winter long. Woodchuck. Chuck, chuck. Do you think I'll see my shadow on February 2nd? Chorus 3. Under the snow in a pond. Narrator. A bluegill circles slowly through the chilly water. Bluegill. Glug, glug. I sure wish I had enough energy to catch that little bug. Narrator. The water boatman swimming nearby has a different point of view. Water boatman. Thank goodness that big fish can't chase me down. Narrator. A carp rests quietly on the muddy bottom. Carp. I wonder why that bluegill can swim, but I'm stuck down here. Close read. Identify elements of drama. Underline the words that the narrator says between lines 26 and 32. Narrator. Two tiny water striders lie just a few inches away. Water strider one. Lucky for us, that carp's totally pooped out. Water Strider 2. You can say that again. Water Strider 1. Lucky for us, that carp's totally pooped out. Water Strider 2. Oh, please. Narrator. A green frog and a painted turtle rest in the mud and wait for winter to end. Frog. Dude, dude, I'm sick of this. How long until spring? Turtle. Not much longer, I hope. My toes are getting wrinkled. Chorus 4. Under the snow in a wetland. Narrator. A beaver family huddles together inside a cozy log lodge. Beaver 1. What? 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 I could use a snack. Beaver 2. Me too. Let's swim over to our storage pile and grab a stick. Narrator. Just below the wetland's icy surface, a red-spotted newt dodges and whizzes and whirls. Newt. Whee! I don't mind if spring never comes. Narrator. But everyone else is looking forward to warm, sunny days. Close read. Confirm or adjust predictions. Highlight the words that tell the setting of this part of the reader's theater. Was your earlier prediction about settings correct? Chorus 1 and 2 And as time passes, the sun's rays slowly grow stronger. Chorus 3 and 4 And each day is a little bit longer. Everyone until finally spring arrives. All animals, jump forward and make your animal sounds. The end. 
Close read. Fluency. Speak in a different voice for each character as you read lines 27 through 47 several times with a partner. Use voices that show the different ways the